where as his vice president following the resignation of Mr. Joseph Murumbi. Moi then became president following the death of Mzee Kenyatta on 22nd, 22nd August and the East Africa cooperation between 1996 and 2002. And um, after a 24 year presidency, Moi handed over the reins of power to Moi Kibaki in a peaceful transition that followed the National Rebel Coalition's victory over Kanu in the December 2002 general elections. The major test in his presidential tenure, of course, was in August 82, when there was an attempted coup when a detachment of Air Force soldiers attempted to overthrow the government. Since retirement, Moy largely resided in his Kabarak home in Nakuru County. Despite his international stature, Mzee Moy never lost touch with the ordinary people. The hallmark of his leadership was a personal commitment to uplifting the poor, the disadvantaged, and the old. His personal philosophy and belief in God defined his worldview and purpose in life. So we say fare thee well, Mze. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Honorable Raymond Moy. I'll now invite Philip Moy to read scripture to us uh, to bring God's word. Karibu sana. Thank you. Mine is a short one, and it's Revelations 14, 13. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, uh, write this, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Phil, for reading God's word to us.